Hi, um, my name is Dr. Harold Yeah, I've been a doctor for the past 17 years and uh, most of those years have been spent in ENT, uh, which stands for Ear, Nose, Throat, I'm sure you know by now. I'm also a head, I mean a head and neck surgeon, so I deal with um, head and neck problems like uh, salivary gland tumours, oral cavity cancers, thyroid problems as well, thyroid tumours in particular. So uh, that's, the, that's the focus of my training. It's like everything in the body that's compacted all together and, and it's a, they are all interacting very closely to one another. So you know, issues with the nose can affect the voice, issues with the voice can affect the, the ability to swallow as well. You know. So I think uh, it's the variety um, it's the, sometimes even the complexity that actually drew me into the uh, nose control. It's a, a little bit unique. So I see patients from as young as uh, you know, toddlers, two, three years old, four years old. And I see your patients as old as uh, in the 80s and 90s as well. And just as a uh, Diverse the as uh, ear, nose, throat is uh, so. The, I think our patient population is pretty diverse as well. So the young children can present with um, uh, nose bleeds. They can present with uh, nasal obstruction, persistent sneezing, nasal obstruction, uh, runny nose. They can present with uh, hearing loss as well. Some mothers will be concerned that you know that the child doesn't seem to be hearing as well or I have placed the foreign body into their nose or their ear, which is quite common, <laughs> more common than we think. We also can screen for any head and neck cancers. So if there are any tumours in the head and neck areas, usually you are able to visualise it with the scopes. Um, with the ultrasound in the clinic, it also allows a more thorough in the examination. So somebody who presents with a lump in the neck, um, with the ultrasound, I'm able to at least ascertain what, what's the, what the origin of the lump is. A lot of times, because of the equipment that we have here, um, treatment can be instituted uh, on the same, at the same day or the, in the same setting. It just depends on the patient as well. So because we have the scopes, we have the ENT treatment machine, you know, we have a radio frequency ablation uh, machine as well. You know, a lot of treatments can be done here in the day surgical um, outpatient kind of setting. The benefit of working in Starman is that uh, there are other specialties uh, that are running their clinics and they're just all around me. So anytime I find that the patient requires or would benefit from another specialty's care, it's, it's just a, really just a phone call away. Not, not even a phone call away, it's just a maybe a 10 second walk away, uh, it's just right next door. So I, a lot of patients actually appreciate that because then they don't have to go around waiting again for an appointment. They can be seen uh, almost immediately on the same day. Another benefit of working in uh, StarMed is that there, there's a, you know, a radiology centre just upstairs. So a lot of times we require further investigations such as uh, CT scans, uh, ultrasounds or MRI scans. And in most cases, uh, patients actually can have their scans and investigations done on the same day. So rather than you know, waiting a couple of days or even weeks for, for their results, uh, they, they get the benefit of knowing the results uh, on the same day. And what I find is that a lot of patients actually appreciate having that information sooner. And it gives them the peace of mind rather than you know, having the anxiety of waiting on a, a result. And that can, be, that can be the worst part of anything. You know? Oftentimes it's overlooked, but uh, over the years I've come to enjoy the, the relationship that I have with a, a, a long-standing patient, you know, a patient. It's a kind of a patient-doctor relationship, you know, the kind of conversation that you can share. Um, so you can, you can move beyond just the, the medical condition, but to you know, find out how the condition actually affects the other aspects of his or her life. And you can see how the patient has um, benefited or you know, how the patient has progressed along the way and that in itself is a, it's really very rewarding to, to follow the patient along in that journey. That can be a, a journey of several weeks to months or sometimes even years. So that's something that I, I've really come to appreciate.
I still enjoy operating, but uh, there's something something more meaningful in that kind of uh, relationship journey.